ready to go down the rabbit hole with me? So I've been mining with this Jazzminer X16Q for a little while, and that's the revenue I've been making per day just mining Ethereum Classic. Though I've known I can make a little bit more, so I actually learned how much more I could be making if I mine Ethereum Classic and Zilliqa together. And then I asked myself, what the heck is this Zilliqa thing? I never really learned about it. And then I actually figured out where to mine Ethereum Classic and Zilliqa. Then I learned about how mining Ethereum Classic and Zilliqa together on these ASICs all really work. And then I started mining Ethereum Classic and Zilliqa together. And then I learned about staking Zilliqa. And then I learned about how much I can make staking Zilliqa. And then I decided to make this video. All right, so let's slow down a little bit. Mike Red Fox, Jazz Miner X16Q, sent over by Jungle Mining, links and all that stuff down in the video description. So I've been mining with this for a while now. It's an Ethereum Classic at hash base miner, and I just really stuck it on Ethereum Classic and just let it do its thing, and that's where I got all my benchmarks, did all my testing, um, which I'll leave linked up in the card to my previous video on that. And so uh, that's really what it was doing, though the whole time I knew that I could do Ethereum Classic and Zilliqa, and Zilliqa's not a new project, the ability to mine that with an hash based coin is not new. You could have done this with your GPUs while you were mining Ethereum before the merge. I just never took the time to learn about it and do it, and so I finally did. So let's take a look at really the road that took me to get there. So here's that Jazz Miner. It's been mining for a day and a half right now, and you can see the performance I'm getting on average is, uh, we're just gonna call that two giga hash, 2000 mega hash. In fact, I did a firmware update and it's actually performing even better than it was before. So um, that's what I'm getting right now. And for the majority of the time, the, the whole time I've had this, which is about four weeks, I just stuck it on uh, two miners and I was mining Ethereum Classic. And you can see in that time I did a uh, little over $100, which is awesome. But I've always known that I could do a little bit more if I put this on Ethereum Classic and Zilliqa, though I just really knew nothing about it. And so you can see that revenue that I was making, I showed in the intro, you know, as of right now is $3.40, mining just Ethereum Classic. And so I looked everywhere to find some calculators to see how much I can make if I'm mining Ethereum Classic and Zilliqa. There's just not a lot of great calculators out there which I found really interesting. And if you know of one besides the one I'm about to show, please let me know down in the comment section below. But I'm over on Mind the ASIC and I found they have a calculator and it really right now told me I'd be making revenue wise $6.09 a day. So let's compare that $6.09 a day compared to $3.40 a day. And this is before electric and all of that. So that really piqued my interest. So it's like, okay, no, I could, I could totally be making more money. I should absolutely do that because more money is better than lesser money. Cool. So that really led me to like figuring out Zilliqa and I'm not gonna go into a deep dive on the project, but more or less like, how does it work with mining and how can I participate and how can I just grow my crypto portfolio? So I learned a little bit about Zilliqa and how mining works and we'll go through that in just a little bit. And then the next thing I figured out was like, where can I mine it? Cause I can't do it on two miners. So then I found the Ezil mining pool, which right now seems in my opinion to be the best as far as the data that it's able to provide you uh, as you are mining both of them together. And so then I was like, why is this like kind of like a thing? Like you could always really mine Zilliqa with Ethereum before. I've heard about it a lot on GPUs. Like why is this a thing with the iPolo miners and the Jazz miners? And so I was reading about it and it's over on the Ezil uh, support website. and. I guess what they've done is, first of all, they've made miners um, able to do this or they've done firmware upgrades for these ASIC miners or home ASIC miners to be able to mine both. And then what they do specifically is they have a special port that really um, lets the miners have a warm up round on creating a DAG to mine Zilliqa. And so that gets me to like how this works. So the Jazz Miner or any of your ASIC miners that can do both will essentially mine the main coin and it will just do that. And then for a small amount of time, we'll call this a round, it will move over and mine Zilliqa for maybe a minute or two minutes and then it will switch right back to mining your main coin. And in doing that, it is more profitable than if you just mine Ethereum Classic by itself or if you just mine Zilliqa by itself. 
But what has to happen, just like you would mine any of the Edhash based coins, well in this case we'll just talk about Ethereum Classic, it's going to create a DAG file, which depending on the mining hardware, can be relatively quick or can take multiple minutes. And the Jazz Miner takes multiple minutes in order to create that DAG file. So in doing that, it's not hitting its full hash rate yet. So what these mining pools have done is, which is really smart, is they've allow the miner to switch a little bit earlier before the round comes up and allows it to generate the DAG so it can hit its full hash rate on Zilliqa while the Zilliqa round is happening and then it'll switch back to Ethereum Classic. So you're hitting Zilliqa at the full hash rate as opposed to that hash rate building because it only switched once the round started. So that's what I learned about it. I think that's super smart and it's part of the reason um, that you see more commentary around these miners being able to make more profit mining Zilliqa. And so I just, that's what I've been doing. I've been mining Zilliqa on Ethereum and Ethereum Classic on Easel for a while now. And what I want to take a look at is revenue forecast. So you can see right here, if I go down to my forecast and just the average of the last 30 minutes per day, I'll be doing, we'll just say 0.2 Ethereum Classic. 137 Zillica, which will give me revenue wise $5.13 per day if we go to the last six hours, a little bit more. Obviously, things fluctuate all the time. And if we go to the last 24 hours, it gives you like a good indication. I'll be making $5.33 a day. And you can see the amount of Zillica, just around 140 Zillica that I'll be taking in. But why I love Ezil compared to all the other pools is all the updates they've done. Um, in their statistics for you to see actually what's happening. And this has been really important to me as I learn all of this stuff. So we're just gonna get rid of Ethereum Classic here. And let's just switch this over to dark mode because dark mode rules. And you can see all of these vertical dash lines are the Zillica rounds. And so that's when, you're, in my case, the Jazz Miters switch over to mining Zillica and then it will switch back once the round is completed. And you can see that this line here in solid green or blue, whatever that is, is my hash rate when it switches over to Zillica. So you can see on average, I'm probably about 1.8 mega hash across or giga hash across the board in mining Zillica when those rounds occur. And if I go up a little further, um, what you can see when we go to hash rate, is the amount of rounds that my hardware has participated in. It's gotten every single round. You can see the hash rate for my last round, and you can see the average extra profit that I'm taking home in mining Zillica along with Ethereum Classic. So all of that is wonderful. I'm making more money. I'm not spending more electricity. I'm not doing anything different other than selecting Ethereum Classic and Zillica in the Jazz Miner dashboard and mining to a pool that allows me to mine both and can switch over when the Zillica rounds come up. So the next thing that I learned is that you can actually stake Zillica as well and gain more Zillica by staking. So I'm on Zillica's website. I go over to the staking section and you can see the current APR for staking is just over 13%. Now I'm a huge fan of allowing my crypto that I mine to create more crypto for me. So can I mine something and then put it into a masternode, into staking or into an interest platform where it's going to create more crypto? Because that's the name of the game for me amass as much cryptocurrency as I can so that it, my hope is as the dollar amount rises in the long term that I have more, in my case, USD fiat value because I've spent the time putting my crypto to work. It's just not sitting in a wallet doing nothing. So that gets me really excited. So I was learning about staking Zillica and you can do that. And I was figuring out how much money I would make staking Zillica. And so I found this website uh, which is stakingrewards.com and you can put in the amount of Zillica that you're going to stake and it'll just let you know how much you will make uh, over to certain time periods. So let's go back to Ezil. So on Ezil, it's saying that in 30 days, I will have 4,186 Zillica generated. So let's just call that an even 4,200 for simplicity's sake. And I'm going to go over and I'm going to put Zillica. I'll just choose a staking provider. Uh, let's just choose stake in here. I'm gonna change this over to Zill. 
and I'm going to say that I'm going to stake 4,200 zil. And it's going to say after 30 days that 4,200 zil is going to actually earn me an additional 42 zil. And then I can put leave that in staking and then it will compound over time. That's what this chart is telling me. And then you can look at like, okay, that's great, but like, what is that actually in fiat value as of the price of Zillica right now? And I'm gonna flip that over and you're gonna see it's a whopping 66 cents that I'm gonna take home after 30 days. But that may seem like a really small amount and it's really, you just gotta think like over time, as I generate more and more Zillica with this miner or any of the iPolo A6 or really anything else that I decide to mine Zillica with Ethereum Classic with, it's just going to continue to add to this pool and compound. And so let's just take that for an example. I'm gonna open up calculator here. And let's just say that 4,200, and we'll do that times 12 months. And I know things can change over time, but we're gonna do some rough math. So let's just say 50,400 Zillica. Let's see what that will make me in a, you know, if I mine this for a whole year and I have that much Zillica, and I lock it up to do some staking, how much will that generate? Well, you can see that that will give me 511 Zillica per month, uh, and at the end of the year, will give me an additional 6,220 Zillica, and the USD value right now, flip that over, that's an extra $100 a year compared to if it just did nothing. And all of that is gonna be added while I continue to mine and compound over time and just generate more and more revenue and ultimately that is the name of the game is how can i create more cryptocurrency which the hope is that will create more dollar amounts for me in the future if and when the cycle of crypto repeats and everything goes wild again so that's what i'm always looking at all of the time but especially highly focused in during times when we're in a bear market or turning on rigs just doesn't make sense there's a lot more to it than that. I'll leave links down below so you can do your own research. I know I'm probably late to the party on all of this. Zillica mining's been around for quite a while and a lot of people have talked about it for quite a while. But hey, number one, I helped myself here. And number two, if I help a single person that's watching this video create some more income, then I'm stoked. So hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, uh, concerns, or anything that I missed that you wanna teach me, leave them down in the comment section below. But hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, sub to the channel for more crypto mining content, Discord, social media links all down in the description below. And as always, please take care of yourself and each other, and I'll see you in the next video.